Hello, Gareth here, and um, welcome to my messy studio and bedroom. So anyway, my hair is <laughs> doing something strange or looking strange, but there you go. I know I should be happy to still have hair, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway. This is my kind of artist's journal, yeah? Sounds good. And I'm going to do this all in one go. So hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. So last time I think I showed you this, which is quite a respectable painting. Um, I might have one respectable painting to show you for what I've been doing the last week. Anyway. Last time I did this of a snow scene and I turned it into a watercolour lesson and I'm quite happy with that scene. And I used tissue, uh, put it on top of this snow area in order to create texture. And that was maybe the first time I'd done that. I have done that. And um, it worked out pretty well. In this one, you can't you can't see so much of that effect maybe here a little but it's quite an interesting technique and uh, in the future i want to do more of that so one of the good things about these journals is um, i can make a note of things that were interesting and that in the future i should do again okay so what i've been doing this this week or the week that's just passed is painting this scene. So what happened is I went to a national park called Kuju on a day trip and um, I did three paintings on the spot. The first one was good, the second one was not so good and I think this is the third one. I think I did this on the spot and I think this is the first time I've really tried to paint mountains with some detail and it's difficult. It's very difficult and I've been struggling with this all week. I mean that, that looks pretty good but it's not quite working. So trying to do these trees at the bottom of the mountain is particularly difficult. So that, that's attempt number one. Then here's attempt number two. So I numbered them. So I added a figure. <laughs> he looks like he's posing. But this one is disappointing. The yellow looks a bit muddy. The mountains don't look crisp. So yeah, these bushes look fairly okay. And the pattern in the middle is quite good, but that's all. Okay, so then I had another go. So this, this is a bit better because the colours are lighter. And the figure, well, it looks like his legs are being chopped off a bit, sadly. But he's supposed to be in deep grass, but it doesn't really look that deep. But the sky's lighter, the mountain is a bit crisper. These trees in the distance are pretty good and the bushes are not bad. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Let me know what you think in the uh, comment section, yeah? That's number three. So it really has been a struggle. And then here's number four. And I went warmer here. I quite like that. As you can see, I'm changing the landscape. So... That doesn't quite work, but I think some parts of it are good. So I quite like the figure, but it, it, it's not quite right. It's not, not quite there. Then number five, I didn't finish it. Sometimes that happens. Maybe I got a bit depressed <laughs> and gave up on that one. The mountain in the distance is looking interesting. Yeah, but this is a failure and this bit here failed and the contrast is, it's too great. 
And then this one, which I think is fairly respectable. I'm quite happy to show this one. This looks quite good. It's a bit ominous, right? It's a bit silhouette effect, which is basically the kind of paintings I like to do, silhouette types. But I started off doing a normal daylight scene. It didn't really work out, so I decided to turn it into an evening scene and just paint it over it again. And I actually quite like this one. I think that that looks exciting. Anyway, I'm going to carry on struggling with this subject and hopefully, yeah, I can throw most of them away now. I'll keep this one. I think I'll keep this one and the others I will throw away. So that's the other good thing about doing these videos. So I'll keep struggling with it and hopefully one week later I will have cracked it or at least done something that I'm fairly happy with. I'm not sure. I also did like a, a drawing to try and understand the shape of the mountain. And yeah, you get kind of like a triangular patterns and these long diagonals that go down like this and get wider. But it's still, yeah, it's still it's still quite a challenging subject to paint. So I might even make a watercolour lesson about that. But I think that's everything. I did some other paintings on the spot from my trip in the uh, Kuju area last week, but sadly I didn't, I didn't get them out. I didn't prepare. Just a minute. I shouldn't be doing this. This is too to like unplanned now but it might be in here oh yeah here they are some of these are really embarrassing oh my goodness <laughs> oh no okay so i'll show you some of the stuff i've done um so i did this on the spot it was quite a good painting until i did this barbed wire fence and i thought i could do the little barbs that that didn't work out but everything else was pretty good. I really like this snow. There was a bit of snow there. But I think for on the spot painting, it was pretty good. Now the, oh yeah, and then I've got a drawing. It's quite a good drawing. It, it will probably never be anything else. Now the next one is terrible. So I was in the middle of a field and there was this wind constantly blowing and it was cold and it was difficult anyway I think that is terrible yeah sometimes it when I paint a really bad picture I can get really down afterwards and, th and then this one oh my goodness this is going in the bin now that is really hideous that was done on the spot and that was the scene of this so it looks completely different mm. <laughs> and then here's another painting I did but this was at home that's quite nice I like this snow here this pattern and I did another one and I tried to add a figure and do a big figure and I think it looked Oh my goodness, is that embarrassing or what? <laughs> that figure looks like it's trying to dance or something. And that hat, that the hat doesn't work. So, so there you go. You, you get it all. You get, it's very, very raw, yeah? So anyway, they're getting thrown in the bin, thank goodness. And I'm keeping just this one, which is pretty good. But I'm going to spend another week trying to paint this picture and hopefully I'll produce something good. We'll see next week. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, please subscribe, please buy one of my good paintings. There will be a link in the description box. And these are really, really good paintings. Yeah. So and if you are painting, then I hope you're really enjoying it. And that's it, really. I'm just really bad at saying goodbye. So bye for now. Bye bye.